Holo Live Fashion Week is finished, and once again, we have one full episode of outfit reveals. Let's kick things off with the Galgura of Holo Live English, as we now return to Liang, bringing us more Inazuma 11 inspired artwork. This now being Gura's full strength shot. Can you stop it? Inazuma 11 stunt Shark the Deep recreated in this absolutely stellar set of artwork. And here we have Nina Mai. Ininus of Hall Live English, who created this artwork specifically for her collab with Gura with an Monster Hunter Rise. Very professional, as always. And Gura has always said they wish to have a Noel inspired pillow. And here we have the artist Potato giving her that and the next best thing. We also have this piece from Kari at Koro Kari saying, Hide your girl. And also, why did I make this? Further along with the Gura art, we have of this piece coming from Iwuria saying, just really love Galgura's voice so much I had to draw her in 90s style. Gura has also returned to Minecraft with a recent stream turning into a gorilla collaboration with Ina, Kali, and Ame joining and Kali following up with thanks for the laughs today, Gura and company. Yes, a very explosive collaboration as captured here by Wolfie. And here we have Sakuda Kuriyama asking if you would buy this Gura drip shoe, leading into many predictions as to what Gura's new outfit would look like, with this 3D rendition coming from Kano, saying, I guess, Sailor Cat Shark with Paw, with Gura herself asking that all submissions be under the hashtag of Cat Shark. And here we have more from Mochizuki Mochi, who gave us this very to-the-point and cleanly designed prediction, leading us to another Sheena Nare speculation sheet, giving us multiple hairstyles and saying, Saying, I need the cat shark ASAP. And here we have yet another prediction. This coming from Radical Highway with this Ark Knight inspired piece saying, I'm aiming for the least accurate prediction possible. And here we have Ayo and Afuna who stuck very closely to the proposed silhouette and Gura's current color scheme, which turned out to be a very faithful prediction right down to the purse accessory. As here now is the official Galgura outfit given to her from from her original illustrator, Nacho Neko. And while the design of the outfit was generally met with praise, the actual rigging on the model, however, was met with a great deal of criticism. Firstly, pointing out the odd transformation of the lines on the pleated skirt and top, along with the right ear, which actually seems to simply hover over the actual model instead of staying attached to the head, with the ears missing some line work when seen in certain positions, and now pronounced more than ever the almost mask-like quality which occurs on the face when the model turns from side to side. The model itself also had some odd holes in the chest which could be seen when particular super chats highlighted different colors behind the model. Guru's modeler had also prior received criticism after having previously worked on outfits and models for Coco, Matsuri, Anya, and others, with these particular models either needing entirely new rigging or receiving no fixes at all. In response, Hall Live employee T Chan said this on the Hall Live subreddit thread Your concerns have been heard and are being addressed. Please do not badmouth anyone involved, including Gura, her artist, her rigger, or cover. This also means do not tweet at those involved with thinly veiled threats or otherwise. Report all offending comments and I will address them accordingly. Because because of the constant negativity, I have to keep the subreddit locked for longer. The reveal stream otherwise was a smashing success, becoming the largest VTuber stream of all time, maxing out at 194,000 concurrent viewers, with the VOD later hitting 1 million views in just three hours after the stream was ended. With this attention and, of course, reaction, it does beg the question, as viewers become more informed as to the VTuber process, are expectations going higher, and is the bar being raised? After the stream, Galgura said, I'm still shaking. You guys are the best. Let's be cute together. Mm? Yeah. With this reveal, Takanashi Kiara of Hall Live English had this to say, me and Gura are now Hollow EN's very own and only cats, as lovingly rendered here from Same Anko, with the two giving us a very healthy meow. And the reactions flowed in 
This one coming in from Ina, simply stating, Nya. And Melfisa of Hall Alive Indonesia saying, I am dying from cuteness. And Mori Calliope of Hall Alive English saying, Imagine being this much cat while also simultaneously being this much shark. Hall Alive's Shirakami Fubuki posted this saying, Yummy. A clearly very important moment for Gura, as this is one of the Hall Alive members that she had watched before joining Hall Alive. Nami Sakana at Bakasanami most importantly gave us Long Cat Gura, which will certainly not be haunting our dreams. With Captain Dandy at Dandy Floss VT saying, Two nautical themed cat girl VTubers with white hair inside ponytails and blue eyes walk into a bar. And naturally, loads of artwork also came in, with this piece coming in from Silver at Sea Ocean 01251, giving us a very smug shark. This piece coming in from Ayami Garu Benu, absolutely nailing that gradient of colors on the new outfit. Ryuko at RK Go to Pieces absolutely melted our hearts with this piece recreating a moment from a collaboration after the outfit reveal between Gura and Ina, with another moment from that collaboration being captured here from Lily is Asleep at Kuki Nian, perfectly capturing Gura's friendly personality. And this piece from Yoshi at Yo Kalesh was retweeted by Gura, leading this particular VTuber to have a very calm reaction. Further along, we had Oimo Buster giving us a Gura embracing this hammerhead with Yuki N giving us this Gura happily reigning triumphant with Mache Ore P lastly giving us this more on model Gura. And next we turn to Amane Kanata who received this piece from Parsley F for their birthday. Showing off both Kanata and Ayame who have now both received brand new outfits with their original illustrator Oshio and Oshio Dayo coming to us with this brand new outfit in both a jacketed and jacketless version with Jujubee at Mega Jujubee confirming this is now the fourth outfit that they had helped model and rig for this week alone and also seen here showing off Kanata's long hair variant with Callie later replying to the reveal confirming that Kanata is uppercase cute with Oshio later confirming that while the breasts on the model do not bounce many other things do, Kanata replying that the breasts do bounce, and Oshio further clarifying, no, they do not. Very important information. Thank you for sharing. And of course, we have a new artwork. This piece coming in from Rhea saying, I love Kanata's new outfit and hairstyle so much, along with receiving yet a, another backside piece from Suki No No No, a chibi face from Lily is Asleep. This four piece set coming in from Iku Ramani, showing off Kanata's very large appetite. And very lastly, this piece coming in from Ina herself, giving us that angelic smile. And lastly, for Fashion Week, we now have Hall Live English's Amelia Watson, Hall Live's number one time-traveling detective who play GAM and who has a perfectly consistent schedule, as illustrated here from Wolfie, showing off the detective's very active lifestyle. So active, in fact, that when getting sick, the urge to stream is is still there, as captured here from Twifkerix. Further along, the Mamaloni gave us this smiling and radiant Watson, while Guard of War gave us this Justice League inspired Watson, stating, This is the dumbest thing I am so proud to have made. With Re NPC at Re NPC Arts giving us this mirrored piece, saying, Just a friendly interrogation by Amelia and Watson. Further along, we have Punished Pigeon at Kakiri Kiki giving us this. Shadowverse inspired Amelia and even fellow genmate Ina dropped on us this very professional artwork of Amelia with great lighting effects to the surprise and excitement of Amelia herself with Ina also creating this artwork for their collab on We Were Here 2 a collab that inspired lots of other artwork such as this piece from Viragami saying a detective and a taco combined their brain cells it was not enough for these challenging puzzles as well well as this artwork coming from Angry Numb, giving us a taste of a surprisingly emotional ending to the collab. And of course, when it comes to collabs, Ame and Gura are quite the team, as illustrated here from Neko Tariret, saying farewell to last year, with Tiff later giving us this insanely detailed rendition of the two's biped collaboration. And that's not all, we also have this piece coming in from Tenchi at Tenchi Mayo, dropping on us this after
after school rendition of the three hall live talents and here we have this piece entitled pizza coming from etta showing off a typical afternoon with the two with angry numb coming to us with this highly detailed four-part comic not just showing off the three but also delivering some crazy action and now we move into the predictions for ame's outfit reveal once again returning to kano dropping on us this 3d rendition of a mech controlled amelia and sheena ray is also back once again hitting us up with a very lovely speculation sheet and five more hairstyles to boot and almost as impressive as the outfit itself was the reveal showing off a game that involved chat interaction with the chat comically not listening to the directions given to them by amelia and here we have it officially amelia's new outfit coming by way of nabby at naboy who themselves have just had a very very high profile vtuber debut and giving amelia numerous accessories including glasses a purse hat and jacket which can all be removed to reveal a gun with nanami at seven nami revealing that they were the ones to rig the new outfit showing off the brand new expressions and hand movements with amelia after the reveal saying thank you for playing and both of my mamas are so talented and cute i feel so loved kiara also confirmed this is why ame is freaking ame zang further anya milfisa once again suffering from cuteness overload and saying glad i stayed till the end where amelia gave the audience a very surprise kiss callie reacted with anyway i love amelia watson and further along kiara not at all becoming incredibly jealous with hall lives yozora mel reacting to the reveal with you are number one amelia is the cutest with ame then offering to go on a date with mel even going even further stating that nabe is the strongest unfortunately the love was soon lost between mother and daughter as amelia had very publicly stolen her mother's pudding to the great and profound anger of nabe and yes naturally we have artwork this of course coming in from wolfie giving us these doodles and saying when you have no idea how to draw a beret with amelia further giving bubba lots of love and attention and yes the model even features a butt scratching animation which was lovingly rendered here later by lily is asleep this draws to a close at last hall lives fashion week with galgura stating ian is cute and before their end of week collaboration saying i'm ready to be surrounded by cute girls today a collaboration that ended with this announcement that the five hall live english talents have recorded a cover of take me home country roads with this illustration coming from rosuri and that this cover should be released later this week in mid-may having originally been recorded all the way back in october of last year and now loads of other full gen artwork is here such as this work in progress piece from mamaloni and earlier this piece coming from akashi bag reflecting an incident on a kiara stream where a sim of gura lit themselves on fire and later this piece came in from radish carbon showing off some perceived height differences and excellent coloring work all live indonesia talent pavolia rene drew this piece on stream of cat garl gura senpai featuring the rest of hall live english and that the new outfits are amazing ina also has this piece as a work in progress really capturing the personalities of the new models and at last suki no 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 gave us this full rendition of all the backsides they've been illustrating for these outfit reveals and further along lily is asleep giving us all these chibi renditions they've been pushing out as well and that's not all we also have this work from kinga burr at king biscuit rolling out all the new outfits and even giving us this chaotic wallpaper with akashi bag giving us ian is cute and showing off all the animations they made over the week and here we have this work from tajia kim at mama profin capturing this game of tic tac taco which was also seen in this work from nami at nami ori stating last week was wild with pokey at pokey pokems lastly giving us this work just a couple of cuties hanging out although maybe this rendition is a bit more accurate very lastly kiara gave us this update that her valentine's single heart challenger has now hit 1 million views and later amelia watson also said thank you so much for such a hype week everyone and dropping on us this audio on 
on Mother's Day, saying, Happy Mother's Day, especially to my two wonderful mamas. Happy Mother's Day. Get ground bounded! <laughs> And that is all for this episode. We will be returning to our content, showing off more variety very soon. So for more, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll have more things VTubers say for you very soon.